Hi, my name is Wayne Hellman, and this is the first in a series of video tutorials on using SmartFox Server 2X. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install SmartFox Server 2X on Windows and demo some of the sample applications that come included with the server. So let's get started. First, I'm going to head over to SmartFoxServer.com. From here, we can go to the new 2X section and we can download the latest build of SmartFox Server 2X. SmartFox Server 2X is available for Windows, Linux, and OS X, and the same installer packages can be used on workstations for local development and on production servers. So to save some time, I've uh, downloaded the installer for Windows already. So I'm just going to execute the installer and get underway. Yes, and here we go. So there's the introductory screen. Let's just click Next. I'm going to have to read through the full license agreement. Click on Accept and Next. Now for SmartFox Server 2X to run properly, it requires elevated privileges. So you'll notice the recommendation is to install it under a local user account. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Click Next and Browse. I'm going to select my local account. OK. And Next. It will create the appropriate folders. Let's click Next. And we're going to leave the default Install as Service selected. Now while that's installing, why don't we go over some features that SmartFox Server 2X is offering. The first is visual configuration and management. It's now simple to add and configure zones and rooms, etc., without touching an XML file. And there's some great management tools to watch your server in real time. High performance network engine, substantially faster than previous versions of SmartFox by transferring binary data and supporting the UDP protocol as well. Enhanced security, logon data is now transmitted using hash. Uh, and some altogether new features like a permission manager that allows you to create user profiles to restrict access, and a rich client server framework offering a slew of new features, including the new game API that introduces tools for matchmaking and invitations, etc. Of course, all the new features are at smartfoxserver.com 2x. I'm just going to click finish here, and you now have a fully working version of SmartFox Server 2x on your computer. I'm just going to open up a browser here. And now one of the things that SmartFox has installed is a local web server. So you can access a number of different tools and documentation. So that is located at localhost port 8080. So I'm just going to go there and pull up menu. The SFS admin tool is now hosted on the local web server alongside some sample applications and a link to the most current online documentation. So let's just go into the admin tool. Now the one thing you'll notice here that is different from previous versions is the addition of bookmarks. This enables you to save profiles of servers you're administering, say a development server, staging server, and a production server. Let me just go in here. Uh, this allows you to easily pull up a profile without having to enter all the info every single time. Now, by default, the tool comes with your local server already bookmarked. Let me just click on this. Now, the default username and password are both SFS admin. I'm just going to log in here and click connect. Now, it's going to prompt me to change my password, which is the default password. So I'm just going to go over here to the server configurator, and I am going to change the admin password. Just click Edit now, put in a new password, and click Update. Now, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm not going to go into detail here with regards to the admin tool, uh, we'll save that for a later tutorial. However, I want to change the session maximum idle time just so we don't time out during some of the samples that we're going to run. So I'm going to click Submit here. And I'm actually going to log out. 
Now I'm going to pull up our services. So on Windows, you've got your services. I just had that sitting there. And you'll notice that there is a SFS 2x service running. So I'm just going to restart that service. And the server will restart with our settings having taken place. So I'm just going to log in one more time with our new password. Click Connect. And I'm up and running. Smartbox Server 2x comes bundled with a number of sample applications that demonstrate some basic functionality. Samples are available for Flash, Unity, and iOS, and the source code is also included. So let's open up a couple browsers here and head on over to our local web server again at localhost port 8080. It's going to bring up a list of the samples, and we're going to launch the first one, the Flash Connector. Now this is a very basic sample that simply loads a configuration XML file telling the Flash client what IP and port the server is on and establishes a connection. This is all done with a single method call. So let's click connect here and we're going to watch the events fire. It loads successfully, uh, detects a local server at port 9933 and connect successfully. That's the entire example. Um, all done with a single method call and truly illustrates the simplicity of the client API. So let's close this example and move to a sample that demonstrates a more real-world scenario. Let's go with a simple chat. Now for this sample I'm going to use two instances of the application and show you how easy it is to create a basic chat room. So I'm just going to log in to the top client as Mr. Top. Click log in, and on the bottom browser, I'm going to log in as Mr. Bottom. Let's click log in as well. Now you'll see this is a very basic chat. Um, we've got the users list, and uh, it indicates which user I am logged in as, and up top it indicates Mr. Top. And you'll also see on the Smartbox Server 2x admin, we now have three concurrent users. Now it's three because we have two clients connected and the uh, admin connected as well. So um, let's do some basic chatting here. I'm just going to enter a simple chat message. You'll see it appears on the browser below. And if I go down below and enter another chat message, it's going to appear on the browser up top. It's very simple, uh, but illustrates the ease in which you can create these types of chat applications. Now these samples may be simple, however they demonstrate the use of some frequently used functionality, much of which has been combined into a single class package called requests. What we've used so far already is the logon request and public message request. Let's try one more type of request here, the create room request. So let's type in a new room name and create room. Now that room automatically appears in our room list and I can leave the room, go back to the lobby and re-enter the room. And our bottom client uh, has gotten that room list update and can join the room as well. The big difference here is that all requests with Smartbox Server 2x are sent to the server in a similar fashion. You create a new request instance and then pass it to the server using the send method. Have a look at the source code and you'll see just how easy it is yourself. There are still more samples to go through and I encourage you to try both the applications and read through the source code. With every sample there is something to learn and with the new APIs it's quite easy to pick up. That concludes our first episode of SmartFox Server 2x tutorials. Remember to check smartfoxserver.com for updates and support.